Welcome to another video, The One Good Road here. Today I have a quick video explaining to you my solar bike setup. So my apologies that I've been ill actually for the last week or so, plus it was my birthday so we uh, spent the day over at the beach and now I can actually uh, give a full video explaining how I built this solar bike. I've also been waiting for the weather to be clear. I mean, now we finally got like a full sunny blue sky. So it's perfect weather. It's also not hot, which is ideal for solar panels. Absolutely perfect. Um, so the solar panel is charging it really well. So I'm just going to walk you through the setup. Uh, the solar panel I'm using and this very minimal setup. And I have another video, maybe like a part two I might want to do, where I show you how I made it with a, a 200 watt panel and the bike trailer, which is a whole different setup. But this is really minimal, super easy to do. In, in relatively speaking, it's easy to do if you kind of follow the video's steps. So this won't be a full how-to, this will just be walkthrough, okay? So we've got the solar panel on the back. You'll have to build your own frame. This, this solar panel, I'll leave affiliate links down below if you want to buy this specific panel. It's from a company called Ecoworthy. It is a, their 130 watt panel. So that's their, their brand name over here. And it's got a nice white background to it, which helps reduce the heat. I can put my hand on that and it's not its not that hot. Even today, it's also helping because it's not super hot summer day. It's uh, uh, We're in September now, so. That's a 130 watt panel. I think it's more like 100 watts max. Like maybe, might even be more like 110 max. I'm getting at the moment, uh, this isn't ideal, the angle it's in right now, but um, I get normally around 80 watts and that's perfect. That's what I'm looking for to charge this battery. So we've got the 100 watt roughly panel in the back and it's being supported by a frame that I built myself. I did have to go through many prototypes. The frame actually broke on one of my test rides, which is part of the learning experience. So I had to, I had to fix a support uh, beam just here, as you can see. Uh, onto the rack below it just otherwise it was just flopping around too much off-road So this this is a much more stable setup. Uh, it's much more stiff and rigid and it's a bit custom built So you'll have to figure out how you want to do that. I've basically got a Rack that's a, that's attached to the seat post there And I've got the MC4 cables coming through there and then I built uh, the frame around to hold the panel with tent poles and they're not strong enough on their own, so I had to add a steel bar down the length of the middle. Uh, and then that's the support there. And in the future, I'll make it look much prettier than that, but that it does the job. And also there's a foam pad in between the solar panel and the, the frame to stop it from rattling too much. The nice thing with this setup is it's super minimal. You don't need a trailer. And I'm just charging my, my bike right now. I'm charging the battery right now. I can also keep my... Um, bags below which is really cool on the rack um, then over here this is where the magic happens which I'm sure a lot of you will be interested in so inside got this MPPT charge controller so this is the company it's from it's from a company called Ellie Joy I bought this over on Aliexpress I'll leave an affiliate link down below you'll need two different cables uh, basically this is the junction box here and you've got these easy clips. I have some other footage of showing the uh, easy clips, but there, there are these, there are these standard e easy clips you use for electrician stuff. And then you've got the parameters. You basically, what like what is this device? It basically boosts the voltage. So I need this battery to charge at 42 volts at two amps. It automatically figures that out. The amperage is automatically figured out via how much amperage you have coming in. And then the voltage is boosted, basically. So we're, you can't really read the screen because um, it's flickering like this, but in real life it doesn't flicker. You can read it perfectly fine. So we've got a 19, I think it says 20 volts coming in, and it's converting that right now to 42 volts, and the battery's at 39.2 volts, charging at 1.5 amps. Um, it's really simple. It's really lightweight as well. You don't need to have a, like a, a giant battery with an inverter and everything. And this is everything all in one. You have to do some manual cabling yourself. Like I had to get some MC4 cables which didn't have the plugs on the end. 
then you plug them into these easy clip plugs. I'll have some other footage showing that because it's a bit tricky to get it out right now. But I have some footage of me showing you how, how that works. And then this little DC cable here, these thick wires there, they're going to the battery. You've got the MPPT charge controller there, which boosts the voltage. And it's just being held in that little bag there. A bit of branding right there. Then on the other side of the bag, we've got the battery. So this battery is is um, from a company called Yo's Power. They have a whole e-bike conversion kit, which I've done a whole video on. So that's the motor there. This is a 13 amp hour battery. It's, f it's charging at 42 volts max, and then it goes down and hovers around 36 volts at its uh, like optimal range, I guess you could say. It's average range. And then it, I think it goes quite low. You can probably bring it down to like 34 volts, or so, I'm not really sure, even lower. But it's got a, a voltage minimum protection. So the I've adapted the cabling. So you've got a little a right angle plug there for the DC barrel connector. Make sure you get the right one. The whole product list so that you can see the specifications more clearly. It's more easier to see it that way. So have a look at that list. Um, I'll, come, I'll somehow make a list of maybe on the screen or something like that. I believe it can charge while riding, but it's been unclear to me whether that actually works with this model. I think it does, but I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Anyway, so that's where the charging happens, and I hide it under this this um, neoprene cover, which just kind of keeps the cable neat and tidy. This is the whole setup here. We've got the panel, the MPPT charge controller going into the battery, and then you basically can charge wherever you want. Okay, so this is the voltage. It's actually charging right now. It's just gone up. Uh, I've got 39 volts written out there. And I'm aiming to get 42 volts, so it'd be, it'd be better if I change the angle of the panel. Final thoughts on this setup so far, if you're interested in doing this. I'm learning that if you're riding around, it's not ideal if you're in an area where you've got a lot of tree coverage. And if you've basically got not, not a lot of sun, like if you're up in the north in, in winter. Um, the best solution is that you stop somewhere like I am right now. You find a good spot, a good angle for the solar panel, and then you can charge wherever you are. But to charge this set, this this with this current setup to charge, it, it, it's not feasible, I think, while riding. It's more the kind of setup that you want to do. If you're touring, you could like leave this in the morning to charge, or you go and have a coffee somewhere and you leave it to charge for one or two hours in a really good ideal spot like this and a good angle. Um, so that's more realistic, I think, with this setup. Um, a couple of other things I'd like to mention is it would be nice to be able to change the angle of the, the solar panel because right now it's fixed like that all the time. Uh, I don't want it to be above me because that would defeat the purpose of this being a nice minimalist kind of aerodynamic setup. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's 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 working quite well so far. Like at the moment, I'm getting 80 watts charging the battery, like right now, and that's that's it. So if you have any other questions about this setup, let, let me know in the comments. I'll try and help you out. And there'll be a list for the there'll be a bunch of affiliate links to all the products that I'm using. That's it. Stay tuned for like a part two where I show you the bike trailer and the solar panel setup for a bit more power. And uh, I'll show you a different setup if that's interesting as well. So yeah, any thoughts, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next video.